Today on Stock Charts in Focus, we're demonstrating how to bring dual time frame analysis into your charting, specifically using the interactive multi chart layout features in ACP. Now we're going to set this up from scratch, show you exactly how to create your own custom multi time frame views using these tools. But then we're also going to show you how you can use this for scan reviews reviewing a list of scan results. We're going to show you how you can do this with chart list. If you're reviewing your portfolios, your watch list, you're going to see a lot of different ways to apply these dual time frame analysis features that we've built in ACP. So lots to cover on today's show going to be a fun one. Of course, you know what it is. It's all new. It's all here. It's stock charts in focus. All right, my friends, welcome to the show, Stock Charts in Focus. Of course, our product focus show here on the channel where we dig into the site, dive into the features, show you around the tools, and help you get more value out of Stock Charts. That is our mission here every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern time up on the channel, also up on our YouTube channel after that, and the on-demand platform at StockChartsTV.com. Lots of different ways to watch. My name is Grayson Rose, Vice President of Operations here at StockCharts.com. So good to have you on today's show as we talk about something near and dear to my heart because as we like to do on this show, we're actually showing off some of the tools and the features that I personally use in my own approach to trading and investing in the markets using technical analysis. So specifically what we're going to talk about today is how you can combine charting in different time frames. This is an incredible way to watch the markets, one of the best, most powerful ways to watch the markets, because ultimately when you're bringing in these different time frames, as you see, we're going to do it today with uh, with daily charts and weekly charts. When you bring in these multiple time frames, though, you bring in more price context to your analysis. Ultimately, price history is context. It is history for the stocks and the funds and the indexes that you are watching. And so when you have the opportunity to actually zoom out or zoom in and get sort of price context from different time frames, different perspectives, it really does boost your analysis. So we're going to show you how easy it is to do this now in ACP with our interactive multi chart layouts. We have made this very, very easy to set up. And there's some great ways to bring in these different time frames, blow your charts up, shrink them back down. You're going to see a ton on the show today. I personally like to do this with scan reviews. When I'm running a scan, I like to do that over an ACP, review those results with this kind of dual time frame analysis up on the screen. Also, when I'm reviewing the uh, the stocks and funds that are on my watch list and my portfolios, all of that, it is a great way to review stocks and funds. So you're going to see all of that on today's show. We're going to have a lot of fun in the process. So without further ado, let's jump over to ACP and get going. All right, everyone. So here we are in ACP. Now, if you're not familiar with what we have built with this new platform, this is a complement to our long term sort of legacy tool, Sharp Charts. Sharp Charts is by no means going anywhere. We've got big, big plans for that tool. But what we've tried to build with ACP is a much more sort of dynamic, interactive, fluid experience. You can do very, very cool things with this tool. For instance, drag your indicators up and around the screen, reposition your charts. And most importantly, as you're going to see, you can create very dynamic multi chart layouts with up to 12 charts on the screen. So if you're new to ACP, if this is something you haven't seen on stock charts before, definitely spend a little bit of time playing around with it. You can get directly to the platform by going to stockcharts.com slash ACP. But if you're on stock charts outside of ACP, you can also use the create a chart bar at the top of the screen, select ACP from the little menu that typically says sharp chart, you'll be able to type in a ticker symbol and jump right over to ACP. So as we said in the intro, what we're going to demonstrate today is how we can take ACP and the multi chart layout capability and bring multiple charts up onto the screen for the same symbol across different time frames. Before we really dive into this, we are going to show you from scratch how to create this, but I'll give you a little preview of kind of where we are going. Now, these layouts can be saved to your account. So what I'm showing actually right now is over here in the layouts sidebar. These are some of the layouts that I have saved to my own personal account. And you can see that up here at the top, I've got some saved without symbols because these are layouts that I like to use to review different symbols as you're going to see scans and portfolios, that kind of thing. 
but I've got two up at the top. I like to actually number mine. I've got two up at the top that are daily plus weekly, and I've got two little levels to those. So I'll preview these really quickly for you, but this is exactly what we're gonna show off today. We are gonna put a daily chart of one symbol up on the screen, and we're also gonna put a weekly chart of that exact same symbol up on the screen. We're gonna show you how to create this from scratch and then show you how easy it is to run scans and review your chart lists with this kind of view. So in this case, what we're now looking at, I'll actually close this down so we got a little more room. We are looking at a daily chart over on the left, and we are looking at a weekly chart over on the right. So what this allows us to do is bring in that multi time frame analysis. Here we can scroll out, we can sort of zoom out and see this stock, in this case Mosaic, over a long term perspective uh, with a weekly chart there on the screen. But we've got our sort of narrower term view there with the daily on the left. We can do some very, very cool things with these as you are gonna see. Uh, but I actually also create levels to these. So this is kind of my stripped out version. I also have a, uh, a level above that brings in a couple of additional indicators down at the bottom. But what we're gonna do today is create one of these layouts. You're gonna see exactly how easy it is to do this. So we are gonna actually get back to our single chart layout and we'll start to build the little preview that I just showed you. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit to set these up. I'm gonna use chart styles to do this. Chart styles in, uh, in sort of stock chart speak are the way that you take a set of chart settings, color scheme, indicators, position, all of that good stuff, Time frame. You can save all of those settings into a chart style. When you save a chart style, you can come back to it later. It's basically a chart template for a single chart. So in this case, I've actually come here, I've clicked on my default chart. This is the one that I typically look at. I've got a relative strength line up at the top, I've got the RSI on the bottom, and I've got a couple of moving averages uh, in the middle of the chart, plus volume and some, uh, some little chart markers here on the screen as well. So I've pulled this up, this is kind of my starting place. What we're gonna build though is that two chart layout, and I am gonna use the chart styles that I have saved into my account to make this a little bit quicker. Uh, but if you wanted to customize these layouts, you don't have to use chart styles. You can, of course, come over here to the chart settings menu and build your charts in any way that you want. This is gonna be kind of the starting place when you do build your chart styles. You're gonna set up those charts with everything that you want over here. Then you're gonna come into the chart styles panel and you are actually gonna save those. So we're gonna use my chart styles to start to build this. But as we have said, we're gonna put two charts up on the screen. We're gonna do a daily chart on the left, and we're gonna do a weekly chart on the right. There are two ways to add those charts to, uh, to your screen, two ways to basically build multi-chart layouts. What we could do is actually hit this little plus icon, and as you'll see, that is just gonna add another chart up onto the screen. Uh, so again, you can create these multi-chart layouts with up to 12 charts on the screen. If you just wanna add one at a time, you can always hit that quick little plus icon and that's just gonna add one additional chart to your screen. But you have more options than that. So if we come over to the layouts panel, we'll shut down the uh, the your layout section just uh, to, to sort of get to the uh, other interface that's in this panel for now. Uh, you'll see that down below, you have a section called create layout. So this allows you to create much more dynamic layouts and actually sort of jump to a specific setup that you want. In this case, we're just creating a dual chart layout. So it's really easy to use this little plus button up at the top. But if we did want to select a larger number of charts, again, all the way up to 12, you can select that number and then you'll see a bunch of different configurations there that you can choose from. So in this case, we've got two charts up on the screen. I personally like to have these stacked next to each other, but if you did want them to be sort of horizontally oriented, you can do that. Select your number of charts and then select your orientation. So in this case, we're gonna start with our two chart layout. Now, when I hit that plus icon or when I select a, a different number of charts and, and select an orientation there, it's basically gonna take whatever the active chart on the screen is, which you know because it has a green border around it. You can see that green border on the, uh, the chart on the, on, the, on the right. And then if I click over to the chart on the left, you can see that green border moves. So when you create these layouts, it's by default just gonna sort of duplicate that active chart all around the screen. We're gonna to start to set this up though, so that like you saw, we have our daily chart on the left and we have our weekly chart on the right. Before we do that, there's one key feature that we need to turn on. Now, in this case, we're looking at one stock, one ETF, one symbol, uh, and we wanna see that in two different timeframes. 
We want those charts to change together as well. So if we flip from one symbol to the next, we want both those two charts, the daily and the weekly, to move together. So we're going to come down here to multi-chart settings. We're going to look under sync options, and we're going to make sure that symbol sync is turned on. When you turn on symbol sync, it means that any charts up on the screen that use the same symbol will change together. So in this case, we have two charts for Mosaic, M-O-S, and because we're turning on symbol sync, those two charts are going to sort of stay in sync. The symbol is going to be the same across those. So that is going to be key when we're setting up this dual time frame charting approach because it's going to keep those, those charts in sync without us having to change the symbol on multiple charts uh, sort of back to back. It's always easy to come back and turn this on. Uh, if you forget, it is just a little checkbox right there. So easy to come back. Uh, but if you notice that your charts aren't changing together, just remember, you got to come over here and set symbol sync to be on. So now we're going to jump back to our chart styles. And this is where we're going to sort of cheat a little bit to speed up today's show. What we want to do is set this layout layout up with our daily chart on the left and our weekly chart on the right. So I have configured those daily charts and weekly charts for my account. And again, I've saved those as chart styles. So I'm going to come in here and I'm going to make sure that we've got our daily chart selected there on the left. You can see that that changed just a little bit, but we've got our daily chart now. And you can see that always in the uh, the little legend there uh, at the uh, top of the price panel. We've got our daily time period right there listed for us. Now in the chart on the right, we're going to change the chart style of this one because you can see these are the same at the moment. This is a daily chart. We're going to set this up to be a weekly chart. Now I've got a whole system of chart styles in my account that is unique to me. I like to do what I call chart levels. So each one of these basically graduates up. If I went through the uh, the whole demo, you'd see that this one starts with just the price panel, then I bring in relative strength, then I bring in the RSI, and then I bring in additional indicators as I go. So the higher the level, the more complex the chart basically. In this case, I'm gonna match these up. So you might've noticed that I clicked level two for our daily chart over on the left. For the chart on the right, I'm gonna again, make sure that I'm over there on the right. I've got that uh, chart on the right selected. You can see that green border around it. I am gonna set this up with my level two weekly chart. So I've got level two across both screens. Now these are very similar charts, but they are, as you can see now, a daily chart on the left and a weekly chart over on the right. Now I might wanna customize these time frames. So I'm gonna set this one up to be, let's say a little bit longer. I'll make that a five year chart, which is actually what the chart style comes with out of the box. And I'm gonna just make sure that this is a one and a half year chart. In this case, actually, we'll zoom it down a little bit. We'll say, uh, let's make that a one year chart. So now we've set this up. We've used our chart styles to set this up. Or if you wanna sort of customize these from scratch, you could use the chart settings panel up at the, here, up at the, uh, the top here to customize what's on both of your charts up on the screen. Now, we're gonna go back to our layouts, and if we wanted to save this, if this is something that we wanted to, uh, to sort of bookmark and come back to in the future, all we've gotta do is come down here to save layout, hit that little green button at the bottom, and we can actually save this layout to our account. Again, now we've set this up, so we've got our daily and our weekly over on the right, and we can start charting in multiple time frames. We've set this up with symbol sync there, checked. So when we switch to something like, let's do Intuit, you can see that these charts actually change together because we've got symbol sync set up. So again, we've got our daily chart there, we've got our weekly chart here, and those are changing together as we go. So we can continue to sort of flip through different symbols and those charts are gonna change together. Again, you can save this to your account there. That's gonna show up in the Your Layout section up at the top. So in this case, if I actually click on the uh, the one that I had saved, it's gonna basically mirror what we have up on the screen right now. Again, this is my daily and weekly level two screen there with my uh, daily chart on the left and my weekly chart up on the right. So you can see it's very, very easy to start creating these layouts. So now that we've created one of these layouts, we've got that daily and that weekly with that symbol sync turned on, let's talk about how you can actually use this. First and foremost, I'm gonna shut down this panel to give us a little bit more room to work. These now are full featured charts. We've got ACP shutdowns, we've got just the charts in the middle of the screen, as much real estate as we can get there in the platform. And this is when it really starts to fly. So these are full featured charts. If we wanted to add annotations, if we wanted to move indicators around, anything that we want to do, we can do it here. We're looking at that same symbol across multiple timeframes. 
And there are some su super, super cool things that we can do with these layouts. First and foremost, we can move through time, zoom in and zoom out on these ACP charts. So this allows us to really kind of dive into the daily if we wanted to zoom in to a very narrow time frame. In this case, now we're looking at Qualcomm. We can kind of see that range that it's been chopping around in. We can slowly zoom out. We can see that it's actually been chopping around sort of above a breakout level. We can see that on the daily, zoom out a little bit further, get that full daily perspective. But now we can say, okay, well, we've got the daily perspective over the last couple of years. What about the really long-term view? We can actually zoom in here a little bit on the weekly. There we can kind of see that same breakout on the daily, but now we're looking at that with weekly bars, instead, weekly candlesticks actually, uh, instead of the daily. And for a little more perspective on that, we can zoom all the way out. We can see Qualcomm over the last few years. If we wanted to set up a specific range, we can click over onto that chart on the right and set a specific range. Maybe we want this to be a five-year chart. Maybe we want it to be a 10-year chart. Any of these ranges are possible. If we did want to set these to be the exact same range for any reason, by the way, we also have a little apply to all checkbox up at the top. It makes it easy to apply a range to all the charts up on the screen. But so this is allowing us to kind of chart Qualcomm in multiple timeframes. Now we could switch these depending on your time frame, the trading and investing time frame that you have. This could be a daily and an intraday chart. This could be a weekly and a monthly chart. We can set these up really with anything that we want. We can also add additional charts to this layout. So if you wanted to add a third chart or a fourth chart, maybe you want the uh, sort of the full perspective. You want an intraday, a daily, a weekly, and a monthly all there up on the screen at once. You can really start to get creative with these layouts, bringing in that kind of multi time frame analysis. Personally, I find that the daily and the weekly combo for me is incredibly powerful. And as you're going to see in just a second, we're actually going to run some scans, look at some chart lists, show you how, the, how this can, uh, can really fly. Before we do that, though, I want to highlight one very, very cool feature of these layouts that's kind of a hidden gem. So in this case, let's say we've got our daily and our weekly up on the screen. And we want to really kind of dive into the daily. We want to put the weekly aside for a quick second uh, and focus in on the daily or vice versa. Maybe focus in on the weekly. In either case, we can do that from this layout without actually having to close it down and sort of X out of one of those charts. You notice when you hover over these charts, there is a little X. So if you did want to close out uh, the weekly chart, for instance, you could just click that little X and, uh, and get back to just one chart up on the screen. But when you hover over these charts, there are some controls down at the bottom. These are very powerful. First and foremost, you do have controls to go uh, back and forth in time. This is going to move actually just one bar at a time, so a little bit slower when we're looking at a, uh, a very zoomed out chart like this. If you did want to get back to the right side, you can always click that. That'll take you right back to the latest data. So if you're scrolled back in time and you want to get back to the latest data, very easy to do that. But there is one additional little VCR control, as we like to call them, that shows up when you have a multi-chart layout. This is the maximize button. So again, let's say that we wanted to really dive into the daily. We wanted to focus on that, kind of put that weekly aside for just a quick second. All we've got to do is hit that maximize chart button. And you can see that this daily chart has now taken over the entire screen. We are focused exclusively on the daily. Now, what's cool is this is still a full featured chart. So we can move back and forth in time. We can do anything that we want with this daily chart. We can really kind of keep this in full view and really start to focus on just this chart. When we want to get back to our layout, it's very easy to do that. We have basically just expanded this in front of that other weekly chart. So we've got two options. We can either hit the, uh, the minimize button to shrink that chart back down, or you'll notice that at the top right corner, instead of the X, we now have a little shrink button. So all we've got to do is shrink that back down. We could do the same thing here with our weekly. We could blow this up to be sort of the full screen. Now we're getting a very, very long-term view of, uh, in this case, Qualcomm going all the way back to 1993. So again, a very, very easy way to kind of move through time and bring more price context into your analysis, specifically with the ability to maximize these charts, take advantage of the full screen, and then shrink back down to your layout. This is something that I do a lot of. It is a great way to get sort of the full price context in one view without having to move between charts and kind of shift things around on your screen. So a little feature there that I always love to highlight when we talk about these layouts. So now that we've kind of given you the tour of how these layouts work, let's actually run some scans, look at some chart lists, talk about how you can really kind of implement this into your approach. So first and foremost, over on the right side, we've got a whole bunch of sidebar panels. 
Now, the one up at the top is going to be your chart lists. So you do have the ability to create chart lists in ACP, just like outside in the Sharp Charts world. You can create watch lists, portfolio lists, lists for fun, lists to track the S&P 500, anything that you can imagine, you can save those symbols and those charts into a layout. Now, in this case, we're looking at a, a list in my account that I call Scan Sweep. This basically allows me to run a scan and just kind of dump the, uh, the results into a specific list that we can review. But once you've got one of these lists open on the right side, again, in this case, we're looking at a chart list. We've turned on that symbol sync feature, which is going to keep these charts totally in sync. We've got our weekly chart here. Let's actually get this back to be exactly a five year chart. And we'll get this one to be a one year daily. We've got our one year daily, our five year weekly. We've got our chart list open on the right, symbol sync turned on. So now we can start to flip through this chart list with this layout in play. Uh, we're actually going to turn on the little layout feature there. And we're going to do one other key thing, which is turn on load symbol only. So we'll talk through this for a quick second. Uh, when you save a chart into a chart list, all of the settings, everything that you save into the chart style, for instance, all of those settings, the indicators, the color scheme, the position, of course, the symbol, that's going to get saved into that chart list. So if I clicked on Airbnb without load symbol only turned on, it's going to pull in the saved settings there that I've actually saved with this chart. Now, in this case, we're looking at my daily uh, default chart over on the, uh, the left, so they would look pretty similar. But when we create one of these uh, multi time frame layouts, and we want just the uh, the chart that's up on the screen. We want to use what we've created as part of that layout. Uh, we want to make sure that we're turning on load symbol only so that if we've saved something into one of these chart lists that doesn't use the same uh, settings as the layout, it's not going to sort of overwrite our layout. So it's a little bit confusing, but when you play around with it, it makes a ton of sense. In this case, instead of pulling in all of those saved settings, we are just going to load the symbol. Now I've also turned on the little layout mode, which is actually uh, going to pull in. Oh, that's actually going to pull in multiple symbols. Uh, so we're going to turn that off so that we uh, we aren't sort of overwriting our layout here. So what we're going to do now is click on Airbnb. And as you can see, we've now pulled that symbol into our multi chart layout. Now, in this case, kind of a weird one because Airbnb doesn't have that much uh, history to it. it hasn't been public for that long. But as we flip through here, if we click on something like Google, now again, we've got our long term weekly chart, we've got our shorter term daily chart, and we can start to just flip through this chart list with this multi time frame approach up on the screen. Again, we can maximize these charts, we can really kind of dive into the daily here on Amazon, shrink that back down, dive into the weekly chart, we can zoom in and out on the uh, on the time frame there. And then we can just keep flipping through our list. So it's very easy to create one of these layouts, and then start to basically apply that to your chart list. You can do that over on the right side of the screen. You also have access to your chart list from down at the bottom of the screen. So if we open this up, we're actually in that same list. We've got load symbol only checked here. We could start to, uh, to flip through this list uh, from the bottom of the screen as well. So depending on sort of which uh, position you like, if you want to work out of the, uh, the chart list drawer or the chart list sidebar, you've got access to your chart list right there. You can, by the way, manipulate the, uh, the size of this drawer by uh, just actually dragging on that little black bar that goes across the screen. So you could actually position that to be exactly the, uh, the height that you want. And then again, start to flip through that layout. If you want to close this down, all you've got to do is hit that little arrow that'll minimize that drawer down to the bottom of the screen. So that's how you can actually start to use one of these multi time frame multi chart layouts with your chart lists. Now, if you're a sharp charts user, and you're saying this is really cool, I want to take advantage of some of this stuff, but I don't really want to go recreate all of my lists over an ACP and move my whole process over there. Is there a way that I can sort of take advantage of some of this stuff with my sharp charts list and everything that I've already created over in the other side of the website? Well, there definitely is. So when you look at the top of this chart list panel, you've got a little sharp chart section. If you give that a click, this menu is now actually going to pull in all of your sharp charts chart list. So if you're a sharp charts user, and you're watching this, this is actually a great way to start utilizing some of these ACP features. We talked about this on the show in the past a little bit, uh, utilizing this sharp charts chart list feature uh, to actually get kind of up and running in ACP or even just take advantage of some of these features. But when you load in one of these sharp charts lists, we're basically going to going to create um, ACP versions of your saved sharp charts. 
Now, in this case, though, we don't want to overwrite our layout with those saved settings from those sharp charts lists. So again, we can do the same thing. We're looking at a sharp charts chart list in this case. We've turned on load symbol only though. And so we can again start to flip through this chart list. Now we're looking at Alcoa. We can flip down to AbV. We can hit Airbnb again. That one's in this same list. So we can start to flip through these lists. So in this case, a very, very cool thing that we're doing actually right now, we're looking at sharp charts chart lists, but pulling those into ACP and we're able to actually use uh, some of these multi chart layout capabilities, these advanced features of ACP, we can use that for all of the work that we've already done over in the sharp charts world. So a nice way to kind of go back and forth there. By the way, at the bottom of the screen, you do also have your sharp charts list available. It's in the same menu though. So when you open this up, you see that there's actually little groupings uh, to this menu down in the drawer. So the uh, the top group is gonna be eight, gonna be ACP chart lists. But as I scroll down here, I've also got sharp charts chart lists as well. So all of your sharp charts chart lists are basically in this same menu down in the drawer, you can access any of those. So this is a great way to review, again, your watch lists, your portfolio lists. I like to do this with my portfolios, uh, especially on the weekend, you know, after we get to the, uh, the end of a trading week, this is a great way to run through the stocks and the funds and everything that I own in my own portfolios. Again, it's all about kind of bringing in that, uh, that context, bringing in more price history. And so being able to analyze the stocks and funds that I own, not just on the daily chart, but also on the weekly chart, being able to zoom out really quickly and then zoom back in, kind of move through time like this, it is a huge, huge boost to, uh, to my portfolio review, I find. Also a great way though, to, uh, to look at you know, different stocks and, uh, and funds that are popping up on your watch list. So for instance, this was, uh, was actually one that came up on my radar the other day. I was looking at, uh, at Univar on the daily chart, sort of the, uh, the short term daily chart. Here we're looking at one year of Univar. We can see that Univar is, uh, is really breaking out on the daily, a really nice setup here. We've kind of made two breakouts there, uh, making another run higher, pulled back a little bit, but uh, actually if we turn on our little crosshairs here, we can see made a, a really beautiful breakout, testing that a little bit again. Univar looks one way on the daily. Because I was using these ACP layouts though and had the daily and the weekly kind of up on the screen uh, together at once, I was very quickly able to say, okay, well, how does Univar look on the weekly? In this case, we can look at a five-year weekly chart and we can see, wow, Univar is really breaking out a little bit on the weekly too and almost running up to all-time highs. If we quickly zoom out on Univar here, we can see that it's actually uh, close to making a breakout to all-time highs. It's running up against those all-time highs, has a, about another 10% to go until it tests those all-time highs. So we can start to bring in that multi-time frame analysis and again, get more context on the stocks and funds and symbols that we are watching. In this case, if you're just looking at the daily, you're kind of missing half the story for Univar. Sure, it looks great on the daily, but what about the weekly? Well, we might be running into some overhead resistance or this might be a, a time that Univar really starts to fly if it can make that longer term breakout on the weekly chart as well. You know, again, really fun to uh, to zoom in and out of these time frames. We can sort of uh, you know blow up our daily chart, see that kind of longer term perspective on the daily, and then zoom that back down, blow up the uh, the weekly, get that longer term view on the weekly. Really kind of dive into that chart. So these multi chart layouts just become a ton of fun, but also incredibly useful uh, for your your stock research, your ETF research, uh, crypto research, anything that you are doing. This is a great way to watch these symbols across multiple time frames. Now, before we wrap up, I do want to talk about a, uh, a couple of the other views, a couple of the other ways that you can use this in ACP. Again, I mentioned that I like to run scans in ACP and use this kind of multi time frame analysis uh, for that workflow as well. So if we go over to the right side of the screen, I'm going to open up the scan section. That is the next one down below chart list. This allows me to run any of my custom technical scans right from ACP. Or if I want to run any of our predefined scans, we can also select from that group. We've got tons and tons of predefined scans that you can run here in ACP as well. In this case, though, I'm going to run a scan for let's do new 52 week highs in the S&P 1500. We'll run that scan, see what we get back. In this case, uh, we've got 15 results coming back today and we can start to do exactly the same thing. We can use this multi time frame view to review these scan results. So now we're back to looking at Alcoa, one that we were looking at a couple of minutes ago. We've got uh, ABC, Amerisource Burgeon, 
Uh, we're, uh, we're reviewing that there in multi time frames. So we can just start to flip through the scan results with this multi time frame view up on the screen. So I find this is a, this is a great, great way to review scan results. Uh, again, a really powerful way to run those scans quickly and see those, uh, those symbols. If you do want to save them into a chart list, you can do that at the bottom. Or even if you're a sharp charts user, this is a great way to run your scans and kind of, you know, note down the, uh, the symbols that you want to keep track of over in the sharp charts world, a really dynamic way to, uh, to interact with our advanced custom uh, technical scans here in ACP. So you've got the ability to run the scans. That is one uh, that I definitely wanted to uh, to highlight today, combining those with the uh, the multi time frame analysis. This also applies though to any of our other views over on the right here. So our market summary, if you wanted to uh, to click into any of these, for instance, we can click into let's do the S and P 400 here. Now we're looking at the S and P 400 mid cap index in that multi time frame view. So anything over on the right side of the screen that is clickable can be pulled over into one of these views. It's very, very easy to do this. If we wanted to dive into the uh, the sector ETFs, for instance, let's look at energy, which has been an incredibly strong sector of late. We can see again that kind of multi time frame view. So we've got our uh, our daily chart over there on the left with XLE, and we can get that longer term perspective. See that uh, XLE on the weekly really actually making uh, some uh, some big big moves to uh, to new highs. Still not taking out those all time highs, but uh, making its way higher, outperforming the market. XLE has just been so strong, but we can bring that analysis into our approach. Uh, this also applies to our market movers panel. So if we wanted to take a look at uh, you know what's moving the Dow, what's moving the S and P 500, most active stocks in any of those groups, we can click on anything over here to quickly get that multi time frame chart. It applies to scooters. This is another one of my favorite ways to uh, to review the scooter list. The stock charts technical rank so you can see the uh, the top 10 for any of these different groups select your group up here large caps mid caps small caps etfs any of these groups that we have for uh, for the scooters and then you can see the all ranked group if you want to look at that or you can just focus on those top 10 again click on any of these to quickly get a chart here we've got uh, fang let's say maybe you want to look at diamondback Ooh, making a nice breakout there on the weekly you might want to jot that down uh, so anything over here on the on the right side of the screen that is clickable can be used here. Finally, we've got our ticker cloud, always a fun one to track popular symbols on stock charts, kind of see what uh, what other people are charting, almost a little bit of a sentiment indicator there for individual names. Uh, but you can always scroll through any of this and anything that pops up on your radar. Again, you can pull it easily into that multi time frame layout. So very, very cool what you can do here, combining some of these sidebar views with that multi chart layout up on the middle of the screen. So I know that we covered a ton on today's show, we flew through a lot, but hopefully you had some fun walking through one of my personal favorite features of ACP. Again, these multi chart layouts so dynamic, there's so much that you can do with them. We're really just scratching the surface here. This is just one use case, if you will, of these multi chart layouts, there's so much that you can do. It's a great way to watch different symbols all at once a great way to watch the markets if you put those different indexes in those different panels, a great way to bring in different time frames, a great way to bring in different security types, anything that you can imagine, you can probably do it with a multi chart layout there. Again, up to 12 charts up on the screen at once all dynamic, very full featured charts, you can save those into your account, you can pull in your uh, your portfolios, your watch list, any of that stuff. It is very, very cool what you can do with these multi chart layouts. We've got big plans too for the uh, for the coming couple of months, we're looking at ways to make these even more interactive, make those panels kind of draggable, resizable, you can move things around the screen. We've got some very, very cool interactive features that the team is working on now to make these layouts even more interactive. Uh, I already think that they are just incredibly interactive, incredibly powerful the way that they are. But definitely keep an eye out for some very cool things coming this year as we continue to enhance those multi chart layout capabilities in ACP. Anyways, I want to thank you for joining me on today's show. It's been a fun one to uh, dig into my personal workflow, my personal account a little bit with you. Uh, as we like to do on this show, we're always highlighting some of the, uh, the stuff that I use in my own approach. But as you know, our mission here on this show every Friday is just to help you get more value out of stock charts, see things in a new way, uh, see things from a new perspective, explore different tools and features and corners of the website that you might not have seen before. So if you're new to ACP, this was uh, hopefully a fun demo as we breeze through some of the different multi chart layout capabilities, though, if you're an ACP user, hopefully you had some fun here digging into some of the ways that I'm using these multi chart layouts got some ideas for ways that you can apply it to your own workflow as well. 
I want to thank you, though, again, for joining me on the show today. Remember, we do this every Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern time on Stock Charts TV, also up on our YouTube channel after that, and the on-demand platform at StockChartsTV.com. Before I let you go, I wanted to give you one quick note. The bookstore team just told me we've actually added a new section to the store, store.stockcharts.com. You've got links to that at the top of the website as well. But uh, tons and tons of great, great resources, incredible books from incredible authors, folks like John Murphy and Martin Pring and Alex Elder, all the amazing technical authors that have really been kind of uh, pioneers in this industry. They've got their work over in our stock charts store. And we've just added a new clearance section where we've got some incredible discounts on those different books and, uh, and different resources that we have in the store. So if you're into that, if you want a little weekend reading there, go check out store.stockcharts.com. Explore that new clearance section that we just added up there. I will see you again very soon for another edition of Stock Charts and Focus. Again, my name is Grayson Rose, Vice President of Operations here at Stock Charts. It's been great to be with you. I'll see you again soon. But until then, chart on, my friends. Hey guys, Dave Keller here with StockCharts.com. Thanks so much for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, and we hope you did, hit the like button right below. Also, we have so much new content every day. Consider subscribing to the channel. Just hit the subscribe button in the video or right below. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Have a fantastic day.